Welcome to the de Havilland Aircraft Museum, where we explore the incredible aviation history of the de Havilland Company. Today we're going to take a close look at one of the most iconic planes of World War II, the Mosquito Mark VI fighter bomber. From here you can see what made the Mosquito such an effective warplane. Machine guns, cannon, powerful engines and a smooth, lightweight fuselage. But what you can't see is the secret weapon the crew used to find their target. So secret it was rigged with explosives to prevent capture if the Mosquito was lost. We have a short video of the destruct panel, see the link in the description. And if you want to see more content like this, please click on the like button. Also, please subscribe to our channel, this really helps us support the good work of the museum. Today we have satellite navigation built into our smartphones, but during World War II there was no GPS or Google Maps. At the start of the war pilots had the challenge of finding a target that could be hundreds of miles away and they might be flying at night. Instruments available to them included a specialist aircraft gyro compass, a sextant, a map, an RDF or radio direction finder which used a rotating loop aerial to find the direction of a radio transmitter. These instruments worked well but more accurate navigation equipment was needed for bombers to determine their precise location. So how did the crew of this Mosquito find their target? It carried a device known as G, developed by scientists and engineers in the UK. G was a hyperbolic navigation system that used two or more radio transmitting stations on the ground in England, which sent out radio pulses at regular intervals. Each aircraft had a specialised radio receiver and display that showed the time between these pulses. The navigator could then use the time differences to calculate the distance between the aircraft and each of the ground stations. By knowing the distance from each station, the aircraft could determine its position by finding where the signals intersected on a map. Using precise locations from G allowed the crew to navigate to their target with a reasonable degree of accuracy, even when flying at night or in bad weather. The G system was particularly important for specialised Mosquito aircraft called Pathfinders, which were used to mark targets by dropping flares so that the main bomber force could know exactly where to release their bombs. G was not the only example of advanced radio and electronics used during the Second World War in aircraft. The British also developed the H2S radar, which displayed an image of the ground below on a screen. There was also the oboe system, which used radar beams to direct bombers to specific targets even more accurately than G. Both sides had radar navigation systems in the air and both sides had radar systems on the ground to detect incoming enemy bombers. Mosquitoes carried an identification friend or foe or IFF device to signal to friendly radar systems that they were not a threat. Radar equipped mosquitoes were used as night fighters to intercept bombers. This was the beginning of a new era. Electronic warfare, the war in the air, was becoming the war of the airwaves, with new technologies and countermeasures being developed at an incredible pace. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We look forward to welcoming you in person to the de Havilland Aircraft Museum, where you can view and get close to the aircraft and equipment featured here to find out more. See you at the museum.